Hey folks, it's Declan Kenyon with the Transition Living Real Estate team, and I'm here with my partner, Cara Riley. Welcome to our weekly transition tip, episode eight, preparing your home for selling. So what do you need to do to prepare when you're listing your home? So I'll start off by saying the first two themes I'm really gonna talk about through this episode is clutter and cleanliness. Those are the two things that the buyer will definitely notice. We wanna make sure our personal pictures are vacant from the house. We wanna make sure if that's possible, remove those pictures because we wanna make sure the buyer is seeing themselves in the property. They wanna see themselves living there and that's what we want so we can sell that property. Another thing is paint, that's a big one. People like different colors, uh, but more neutral I think is a safer bet. Uh, no loud colors, maybe a bright red, some of those are pretty, uh, but I think it'll, being on the safer side, being a more neutral uh, paint color will, will serve us well. As far as windows goes, we wanna make sure those are clean as well as the window sill, um, and we wanna make sure those are, are not damaged any uh, at all. I'll talk about carpet now. Those, we wanna make sure those are vacuumed and clean and uh, clear of clutter. We don't want anything laying on the ground, whether it's hardwood or what, whatever tile or carpet you have there. The yard is another thing. When someone walks up front and back, we wanna make sure everything's uh, trimmed, the grass is mowed, uh, nothing's overgrown there because people will definitely notice that. As far as counter goes, countertops go, that can be for the, the bathroom as well as the kitchen. We wanna make sure those are wiped down. Nothing is on the actual countertop, uh, no grooming products, no kitchen essentials out there. We wanna make sure everything's in a drawer or at least cleaned up uh, on, on top there. Going back to the bathrooms there, towels is a big one. We wanna make sure those are clean towels, neutral colors going back to the paint we want to make sure they're, they're folded and they look nice and pleasing to look at because that's what people are using. They're using their eyes. So we want to make sure those are good. Uh, magazines or anything on top of the counters, on tables, we want to make sure those are put away. Bottom line, you want to make sure it looks like a show home and it will definitely take time, but it's worth it being prepared. And something that Carr and I recommend is uh, going one drawer at a time one room at a time, one closet at a time, uh, kind of compartmentalizing those uh, particular areas of the house because it will take a while. But you know what? We want to make sure we're prepared and we want to make sure we're ready to uh, get that house sold and make it look like a show home. Last thing I'll touch on here is start organizing and packing boxes early. If you're serious about moving, we want to make sure we're prepared. I think that's a big part in real estate and really a big part in life, being prepared and not going off the cuff. We wanna make sure we're ready to go. And if we wait till the last second, that's procrastinating and we, we might have a hard time at the end there. Uh, clean up the closets and get ready to move. One last uh, tip I'll give you here is Car and I, we like to check next door. We wanna make sure uh, we check our resources because on next door, people are giving away uh, boxes in your neighborhood all the time. So that will help you financially and be ease of use and maybe you can talk to your neighbor there. So I'll hand it off to Cara and she'll talk about what the house will look like in the buyer's eyes. Hey, thanks Declan. One of the things that the National Association of Realtors has done a study on is how many seconds does it take until a buyer realizes they really like your house and they have a positive attitude going through or they've kind of checked it off. It's eight seconds. Now, if you actually had your clock out or your stopwatch out, you, it seems like a while. But as we're working with a buyer, we as real estate agents and professionals, we're talking about the neighborhood as we drive up. So they're going to be looking at your neighbors. What does your neighbor look like? Not that you can do anything about it, but it's going to be part of the mix, part of the pricing, part of the issues we'll have to deal with. And um, so they're looking at your roof. How old is your roof? These are things that we'll talk about also at the listing uh, table, but it's 
all visual within eight seconds of walking up your driveway. One of the nice things that you can do when the weather's good is to have potted plants outside. The flowers kind of soften the entrance and it adds color and a good feel as the buyer's walking up. Now you want to make sure that you have cleaned that porch, that front door, that the windows are sparkling on your storm door. There's no cobwebs in the corner because what's going to happen is the buyer's going to see that and that starts affecting their um, decision of whether to leave you on the list or not. When we go out and show buyers, we give them a book with the MLS information, the map of where it is, and all the extra information that we have so that they can go through. What we tell them is we only want them comparing three homes at a time, okay? So, and it's okay to give them the X. You know, they can only buy one house. So you don't want to get the X. You want to be on the top of the cut so that each time they're either saying, yes, it's number one, two, or three, or no, we got we got cut off. And you'll get cut off. And you know what? The realtors, they love telling us the bad stuff about when they show the house. The hardest part for us is conveying it back to you. So we as professionals are going to tell you what a buyer is seeing and feeling when they come in so that we have had the discussion before we actually get the feedback. Because we know that of all the things that we do to sell your house, the feedback is what you want to know most. If someone came in your home and you turned on all the lights because we want you to do that, the light will, will put a good spin on the feel for your home. All your windows open, all those drapes open so that we can get that natural light. Um, but they'll feel the house and whether or not this is something that they want to drive home to. And that's what we ask him. Is this where you want to drive home? Does this say home? And we want your house to be that winner. So as you're going through and checking on next door, just put moving boxes in the search bar. And you have a lot of times people are moving in and they want to get rid of those boxes. They lay them flat out there in their garage and you can come get them and they're thrilled and that saves an, a lot of money. So we're happy about that. And um, we have resources to do everything that we can help you with. We have carpet cleaners, we have a power washer if your exterior needs to be power washed. How about cleaning out those deep window wells, the ones that are four foot deep? We have somebody who'll get in there and get those all cleaned out. We have people that can actually help you do the declutter. We get you the three boxes. This is the throwaway. This is the recycle. This is the garage sale, if that's what you're going to do. So we have all of those resources so this is one-stop shopping once you decide this is how we can help you get into gear we also have stagers that um, we can talk with and uh, movers that you can we can help you with bids because that's another big part uh, of your moving so let us help you coordinate the whole transition and again, this is why you want to start early with this. Once you've decided that you're going to make the move, there are so many dots to connect. We are happy to be slow about helping you emerge gently into that next transition phase. So we're yeah. ready, Jack. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, folks. So thank you for joining us for our weekly transition tip. Uh, subscribe to our transition tips and you can get them once a week in your inbox. When you join us, you will receive a PDF for our transition tips. We'll see you next week.